Today I would like to talk to you about realism, stylization and abstraction. These three terms are often used by professional artists when they talk about their art, but you can also come across them in art exhibitions, museums, TV documentaries and textbooks. So I will not only explain what these three terms mean, but I will also show you practical examples to help your understanding. So let's go to it. I will be talking about realism or realist art, stylization or stylized art, abstraction or abstract art. So if you're an active artist, you should definitely know these three terms and use them in practice. So I will explain the main principles first. The first term is realism or realist art, or you could potentially also say realistic art. I think in this context, it would mean the same thing. And realism depicts or shows its subject in a real way. So basically, the subject looks like from a photo. It is very real. It doesn't necessarily have to look exactly like a camera photo, but it is, it is close. We can clearly recognize the subject uh, and the surrounding environment. Basically, there are a lot of details. When I say the word subject, I mean the actual thing that the artist is drawing. So subject can be still life or subject can be human figure or it could be human face or it could be a building and so on. And in the examples that I'm about to show you, the subject will be a tree. So let's have a look at the example. Here we have one of my drawings and it is a drawing of a tree. It is a very realistic drawing. You know, you can clearly see that it is a tree. Notice that there are a lot of details. It is very organic. Uh, we can feel the volume as the tree appears to be three-dimensional, as it appears to be 3D, and that was done by appropriate shading. Uh, we can also see details like texture of the bark on the tree trunk. We can feel the individual leaves and so on. So this is basically a textbook example of realist art. Moving on to the second term, which I think is the most interesting one, because I don't think this is a well-known term, and that is stylization or stylized art. Basically, stylization means simplification. So, in other words, the subject is simplified, it is less defined, hence there is much less detail. So, you as a viewer, you can still recognize what the artist was drawing, but the drawing itself does not look in the way you would normally perceive it. So for example, in the stylized art, the artist can do less details or can change color of the subject or can simplify its overall shape and so on. Right, let's have a look at practical examples. Here we have another of my drawings. And again, if I didn't tell you anything about this drawing, you know, you would recognize this as a tree although you can clearly tell it does not really look like trees in the forest. What I have done here is I simplify the tree crown into an ovoid-like shape and I shaded this shape in such a way that it looks 3D, three-dimensional. The same goes for the tree trunk that is simplified and for example you can no longer see the texture of the bark but Again, it is shaded realistically like a cylinder, so it appears to be three-dimensional. What I have done here is I, I took the organic shapes of the tree and simplified them. Okay, let's have a look at another example of stylized art. Here, instead of using the organic shapes, I use the geometric ones. Basically, I look at the realistic drawing of the tree that I showed you in the beginning, and I simplify the overall shape of the tree crown. And I did the same thing with the tree trunk and the branches. And this is an example of graphic art because you can no longer feel the third dimension. This is a 2D drawing. Although it is shaded, it is shaded in aerial way. Now, despite all of this, when you look at this drawing, you will say 100% it looks like a tree. It is not a realistic tree, it is a stylized one. The third term is abstraction or abstract art, and I think everyone knows the meaning of this term, but it can be difficult to put it into words. 
In the art dictionaries and textbook, the abstract art would be described as non-representational art or non-figurative art, which I still think is quite vague. So I would say that abstraction does not show reality. In other words, you can no longer recognize the subject that the artist was drawing, or the artist draws realistic detail or details of, of uh, some kind of subject, but composes them in a logical way, or there is no subject to begin with, uh, maybe the artist is just trying to capture his or her mood at that particular time. So basically, when you look at the drawing or the painting, you can no longer describe it, you can no longer name it, because it doesn't resemble anything you would normally see in your day-to-day -day life. Let's have a look at the example. There are many different ways how you can create abstract art, and I'm going to show you one of them. When you look at this drawing, you can clearly see that it's some kind of geometrical abstraction. There are a lot of triangles, there is rectangle, and everything is composed in what it seems to be a random way. Now, if I told you that I would call this drawing a tree, you would immediately ask why. Because you cannot really see a tree here, or anything that would resemble a tree. So, if you look at my previous stylized drawing, the geometric one, I actually took uh, inspiration from that drawing, from the way I drew the tree branches and tree trunk, and I used this element to compose this drawing. And when I finished, I look at the top half um, of, this, of this drawing, and I kind of felt, well, these vertical triangles, they look like trees that cast shadows on the ground, and although it wasn't really intentional initially, it just came out from the process, and just like that, it would create additional story behind my drawing to support that this is a drawing of a tree. So back to the main point. If I didn't tell you anything about this drawing, you wouldn't think of, you wouldn't really think that the subject or inspiration for this drawing was a tree. And that is what makes it abstract art. Okay, so let's do a quick summary. I have explained to you three terms, realism, stylization, and abstraction. And if you actively create art in any form, you should know these three terms and actively use them. So realism or realist art or realistic art shows a drawn subject in the realistic way with all the details. Stylization means simplification, so stylized art shows a drawn subject in the simplified way with less details. And in the abstract art, you can no longer recognize a drawn subject because abstraction does not resemble anything you would normally see in real life. And, you know, one way to create abstract art is to start with the realistic drawing and then slowly stylize the subject, simplify the subject, until it is no longer recognizable. And that is what I've shown you here. There's basically one way how you can create abstract art. And I do think that a lot of people think that, you know, to, um, to compose decent abstract piece is the easiest. But talking from my own experience as an artist and as an art teacher, I can tell you that it's one of the most difficult disciplines. To learn how to draw in the realistic way actually is quite easy if you work hard and you have a good teacher, but a lot of students really struggle to stylize their work or to even create abstract work. So I do think that you know the whole process of art creation is quite an interesting topic because it gets also a little bit philosophical. So I will try to talk to about, uh, I will try to talk about it a little bit more in the future. And if you're interested in anything art-related, definitely subscribe to my channel because I cover all the art-related topics. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye for now.